the beach tonight, the rainforest tomorrow. Yeah. This is gonna be a great trip. I think you make it to the uh, business center okay. That's a good, buddy. Welcome to Where's Wiseman. We're Matt and Emily, and we're heading to the Pacific coast of Washington for a two-night camping trip. We'll be camping at one of our favorite spots right on the beach and then venturing inland into Olympic National Park to camp in the Ho Rainforest. Rain is definitely in the forecast, but we're prepared. Driving south along Highway 101, you'll know when you enter the park as the tree line changes abruptly. Olympic National Park encompasses nearly a million acres on Washington's Olympic Peninsula, with distinctly different ecosystems including glacier capped mountains, old growth temperate rainforests, and over 70 miles of wild coastline. Well, I guess this will do. Not right on the beach, but we're right on the beach. <laughs> Surprise this is available. You all know uh, that feeling when uh, you're running behind, you're just wondering if you're gonna get a camp spot. We just lucked out. We just had somebody pass by two minutes after we pulled in here. This is the last spot with a view. It's pretty amazing. We are so lucky right now. Oh gosh, I'm excited. The beach tonight, the rainforest tomorrow. Yeah. This is gonna be a great trip. Yeah, well, let's get set up so we can uh, start relaxing. All right. Done. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Claylock Campground is one of our favorite places to camp along Washington's Pacific coastline and does lie within Olympic National Park's coastal boundaries. During the summer months, it's tough to get a reservation, especially for a beachfront site, which is why we like to come in the winter months when it's first come, first serve. Bingo! Oh my gosh, we have arrived. Already going so much better than we had planned. It's not raining. <laughs> yeah. It's not windy. I actually uh, posted a picture of the temperature in the Seattle area as a joke, because it actually hit 70 degrees, which was shocking. So just kidding around, I said, hey, we should go to the beach. So here we are. The forecast didn't look the best, but we just went for it. So uh, we're gonna spend a night at the beach, possibly a night in the rainforest, and possibly get a load of rain tomorrow and tomorrow night. And to get the spot we got, it's just... Uh... This was the last beachfront spot. They actually have open, there's a lot of spots that our beach front, but they have them blocked off due to erosion. So yeah. we got the last one and we did not get here early. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna watch the sunset here for a while, get settled in, so yeah, enjoy. spots are surprisingly private. We've got neighbors on either side of us, but lots of brush and everybody's kind of tucked back in there. So it's not too bad.
brought a bunch of old documents to burn instead of shredding. It's just easier to bring them camping and burn them. Well, you know it, it's old outdoorsy contracts for our trailer rental. So, hey, if you're uh, in the Seattle area or anywhere in the world and you want to come out to Seattle and rent a teardrop like ours, let us know. We'll put a link in the description. And by the way, outdoorsy is great. It's actually how we got started in the uh, teardrop world. Camping on the beach. Hopefully in the rainforest. Yeah. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Love you. Oh, that's a perfect fire. Yeah, good job. So the wind is really starting to pick up. The rain hasn't started really yet, but we're gonna stake this down and we think the best way is to kind of keep it at an angle because it's just gonna be a sail. There's an aerodynamics today. Well, it's come that time. We need to figure out how to secure this top. Nothing like uh, last minute prep. So we're gonna tie it off to all four corners if we can. Put some holes in each corner. I'm liking that umbrella idea right now. <laughs> yeah. A couple people, uh, thanks again for all the uh, ideas, but just pushing an umbrella through the top and popping it open. <laughs> Genius. Brilliant. <laughs> Mary Poppins the shit out of this canopy. Yeah, the prototype is still a little ghetto, but <laughs> we're dry. So far, so good. We only have the two sides tied off though. So these, these sides over here are not. All right, wind picked up. We lost the top, but we're good. Back in business. We have it tied off on two sides, bungee cords on the other two. We just grabbed what we could quickly. It's actually working pretty great. I think we need to retitle that first video though. Don't cut a hole in your canopy. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. So I'm gonna give <laughs> this canopy project like a C minus. Uh, I would not recommend doing this. It, it does work. We've, we've made it work in a bunch of different circumstances. I mean, it's working right now. We have the top on, it's raining, it's really windy. But we're not directly over the fire for a variety of reasons. So if you want to do it, you can make it work. But I just, I guess I wouldn't recommend it is what I'm saying. Would you agree? Yeah, I think it works best in a no wind, no weather scenario. <laughs> like rain, but no wind but then might you don't, be fine. I don't know. Then you don't need a canopy. I don't know. See, we have the canopy low because of the wind, but if we put it over the fire, it's definitely going to collect the smoke because it's so low. And windy. Yeah, so rain swirl. but no wind, it might work. Rain plus wind, not good. Blizzard snow plus wind, not good. <laughs> so in 8% of weather, it makes perfect sense. <laughs> and we wonder why there's nothing like this on the market. <laughs> yeah.
All right, well, time for your weather update. It is uh, still 55 outside, the low is 54. So this is about as cool as it's gonna get. Yeah, it is starting to dump, <laughs> but we're dry. Our uh, topper is holding up. Did hook up the uh, propane to the heater, cause why not? I think we're getting a little bougie, but you know, if you have it, why not use it? Uh, but mainly just to uh, dry out the inside in the morning, give us a fresh start. This is the beauty of uh, just prepping a little. It's dumping rain, wind's picking up, but we got a good fire, good company, we're dry. For now, we're just going to keep relaxing. I think it's only like 6.30. It feels like 9. <laughs> it's going to be an early night, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Well, the canopy didn't blow away. Well, the uh, weather forecast did not lie today. <laughs> they got it right for once. Non-stop rain, but it doesn't matter. It's so peaceful here. We're just gonna take it slow this morning, brew up some coffee, some breakfast, and then uh, go get more rain in the rainforest. <laughs> Why not? The rain and the wind has definitely picked up. So uh, we're just gonna stay hunkered down in here for a while, cook some breakfast, and then think about uh, packing up. It's gonna be a wet one. Well, one of the perks of uh, canopies in the rain is you don't have to use your drinking water to do dishes. <laughs> That's, That's a lot of water. <laughs> Yeah. The more you know. Ready to move on to campsite number two? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. What are we thinking? Good news is, it's just water. And water can dry. So uh, we'll figure that out at some point today. Just in time, we we got soaked, but uh, man, <laughs> did it start coming down? We're actually really excited to get back out into it at the next campsite. Uh, going back to the Slumberjack, completely covered galley, pop-up fire pit. It's gonna be great. We're gonna dry out, but uh, 
probably check out some haul mosses first. Maybe a big ass tree, I don't know. This thousand-year-old western red cedar is one of Olympic National Park's hidden gems. It used to stand over 175 feet tall, the third largest of its species, but a storm in March of 2014 split the behemoth nearly in half. So this is the part that broke off here. So that thing is just massive. There's lots of other really big trees in here too. That's crazy, never seen anything like that. It looks like a really great way to prevent erosion. There's these giant, I mean giant cement anchors uh, chained to piles of logs. It's, I guess, genius. Yeah. Never seen that before, but pretty neat. The drive into the Ho Rainforest within Olympic National Park is beautiful and includes one of our favorite stretches of road in Washington. Throughout the winter season, rain falls frequently here, contributing to the yearly average of 140 inches of precipitation each year. The result is a lush, green canopy of both coniferous and deciduous species. Mosses and ferns that blanket the surfaces add another dimension to the enchantment of the rainforest. The Ho is one of the finest remaining examples of temperate rainforest in the U.S. and is one of the park's most popular destinations. Well, we did a quick walk around. I think we found our spot. It's on the other side of the campground from any other person, which is nice. But this area looks like it's seen some pretty major storms. There's down trees everywhere, limbs down everywhere, but the tree we're under looks very healthy, very strong. And I think most of the wind has passed. <laughs> and we'll it see. might actually be nice to have a little bit of extra protection from yeah. rain with that tree to kind of cover and buffer a little bit, but we're going to go build a fort. Canopy City. <laughs> We've That's done it the next before. Step. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think the weather's supposed to get a little better tonight. Who knows? But we're going to get set up, get a snack, and uh, hit the mossy trail. Camping in the rain in rainforest. I'll leave it on, take it off slightly. I mean, that's, it's on the ground. We don't have to worry about that lift. This is great. I don't even think we'll have to level it much. I mean, <laughs> it looks level yeah. already. Cool. So we spun it around because we're going to put the slumber jack over the galley. We want it to go that way to give us some rain protection. We're not sure if we're going to use this fire pit. We'll see how it all kind of works with the setup. But we have our pop-up pit that we can, again, put anywhere. So that's next is getting the fort put together. tarp is up. We've got it angled on one side to let the rain kind of pour down that way. And plenty of room to put our fire pit and our chairs. Matt's got bungees here on some of these instead of the lines just for easier setup. And yeah, we'll get the rest of camp set up and then I think we're going to go hit the Hall of Mosses and do some hiking. Yeah, first uh little chill out session. <laughs> Dry up Lunch. before we get wet again. Lunch. Yeah. Yeah. So it may not be cold enough to need the heater, 
but we're starting to like having it available, especially when it's damp out. When we get camp set up, we just run it up to 70 to dry everything out. Get all the windows dried. A couple spots in here got damp last night, but not much, surprisingly. We added another wall to the canopy. This actually is a side panel that goes to our Coleman canopy, but we just wanted a little extra coverage so we can tuck some bins under there. And we just have it kind of bungeed down to this guy. If you're gonna camp in the rain, you gotta stay dry. We are officially Canopy City status, <laughs> <laughs> barely. Here's the view from our campsite. Lots of ferns, lots of moss. Love it. And that is one huge tree. I really, really hope that is deer. Cause there's our campsite. I took four steps and here's more. I guess we're gonna play a game. What kind of poop is it? That makes me feel real good. The Hall of Mosses Loop Trail is just under a mile and takes you through old growth forest and features a grove of maple trees draped with abundant club moss. It's an easy hike with not much elevation change and you'll be amazed at the landscape with every bend in the trail. That's huge. One perk of coming here, when it's really raining, there's nobody else here. We are in the Hall of Mosses, and I think you can see why it's called that. This is amazing. Oh, this is so cool, and there's nobody here. We're all alone, which uh, <laughs> we're just a bad thing. <laughs> we're just here with the uh, bull elk, the bears, and the cougars. <laughs> but uh, God, the size of these trees and the greens out here—it's like a combination of a mini redwoods with uh, a little northwest flair. I do love me some ferns.
fun. Yeah, beautiful. Never gets old. And we didn't get eaten by a cougar. No. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> we saw one other person on the trail right at the very, very end. There's five cars in the parking lot, including ours. So, again, had the whole thing to ourselves. It's awesome. Yeah, the weather's really setting the mood, too. It's just a uh, really cool spot in the Northwest. Mm -hmm. Okay, back to camp. A big one. Whoops. Well, that didn't take long at all. Those are mesh uh, aqua shoes now. Oh no. <laughs> they were only uh, under there for two minutes maybe? Yeah, it gets hot. Damn, that sucks. Snuggle Bunny, you make it to the uh, business center okay? You copy? That's a tech power good, buddy. <laughs> copy that. Good luck in there. One, two, ow. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Well, nothing like walking through an empty national park in the middle of the mountains with uh, cougar and bear warnings everywhere. <laughs> I thought bears hibernated. Is that not always a thing? Anyway, we finished cooking our steaks in wildlife mayhem area <laughs> and uh, properly disposed of everything, so we should be good to go. Time to relax. Ooh. <laughs> Got me twice. Well, we hope you all enjoyed this trip. If you haven't subscribed already, we'd love to have you join us. Again, a big thank you to all our longtime subscribers. It's been awesome sharing our journeys with you and interacting with you. And uh, if you like watching us camp in the rain, we'll leave a link in the description and then probably at the end of this video for our playlist of where we camp in the rain. We'll see you in our next video. Really? 
I can't see you, don't worry. Am I there? Yep. <laughs> whoa, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> what? We're good, we're you good. You had to stoke the we're fire right <laughs> before we turned the camera on.